Ready to see some amazing experiments? Yes! A triumph! We're going to show you how your incredible body works. Just don't try anything you see here at home. Today, the hero of breathing, your diaphragm. What is going on? Lucy, meet Dr. Chris. Dr. Chris, meet Lucy. Zond, I know who Lucy is. We've already met. Have you? Yes. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Chris. I saw her on The Voice and it was me who asked her to come in. Was it? Yes. I thought Lucy could help us demonstrate the power of the diaphragm. Oh, right. Now, Lucy, could you give us another long note, please? Now, Lucy and other opera singers can hold a note this long because she's trained a special muscle, one which we all have, called the diaphragm. Now, your diaphragm sits here at the bottom of your rib cage. Thank you. Let's find out what the diaphragm looks like and how it works. Lucy? We're going to show... Thanks, Lucy. Your diaphragm is the main muscle you use when you breathe, which is something we all do all the time. Now, to show you what a diaphragm looks like, we've got a real one from a pig. Now, this is the pig's voice box. This is the trachea, or the windpipe. These bits are the lungs, and then underneath the lungs, in a big, muscular sheet, that is the diaphragm. You breathe in and out about 20 to 30,000 times a day. And it's this, the diaphragm, that makes it all happen. So after your heart, it's the most important muscle in your body because it allows you to breathe. Now take a breath. Most people have no idea why the air moves into their lungs. Well, we're going to show you. Take this away, Chris. I've got a model. Now, the big bottle is your rib cage. And these things inside represent your lungs. Sand, those aren't lungs, those are my party balloons. We're using them for a very important scientific demonstration. OK, well, I suppose if it's in the service of science. Good. And this at the bottom is your diaphragm. Now, we tend to think that breathing is all about the lungs, but the diaphragm is the unsung hero of breathing. It's what makes it all happen, and that's why the diaphragm is such an important muscle. Now, when you breathe in, the diaphragm pulls downwards. This lowers the pressure inside this chest cavity. This creates extra space, a vacuum, and air has no option but to rush in through your mouth and into your lungs to fill this space. And then you breathe out again. Your lungs really are a bit like these balloons. They have no muscles at all. They're just like bags, really. And they don't do anything without the diaphragm. It's pretty amazing. And to show you what your diaphragm looks like in action inside your body, here's mine. These big black areas are my lungs. Or party balloons. The pulsating bit in the middle is my heart, and down at the bottom, this is my diaphragm. Now, what you can see is my diaphragm here is contracted, and now it's relaxing, and as it relaxes, it rises up and forces air out of my lungs. As you then breathe in, the diaphragm contracts again, and just like the pink balloons, the lungs fill with air. That is incredible. So, we've shown you that your diaphragm is the real hero of breathing. It's one of the most important muscles in the body, enabling you to take about 30,000 breaths a day. Chris, I really want to sing now, can I? OK, Zahn, since you love it so much, but hold on just one second. OK, Zahn. Mi piace